It's unacceptable. In an emotional meeting tonight, members of the Eastern Carver County School Board listened to speaker after speaker calling for change. My son was punched in the face and told he doesn't belong. My six-year-old baby had to let this little boy punch him in the face and not hit him back because I had to start teaching him at three that they would punish him differently. How dare you sit up here and give me messages of how you care. Their outrage prompted by a series of racially charged incidents over several months, some involving students at Chaska High School. In one, the N-word written on a student's gym shirt. In another, a social media post showing the faces of roughly two dozen black students on a map labeled Negro Hill. My husband is Mexican. Among those stepping to the podium, Jenna Cruz. And I wanted my kids to be around people that both looked like them and people that didn't. My excitement, however, has been dampened by the racist events that is occurring in our schools and community. When incidents like this come up, you don't have a clue how to deal with them if you don't have any empathy for the people who don't look like you. Superintendent Clint Christopher promised change. We've talked about the importance of increased communication and transparency, and we didn't meet our standards. I didn't meet my standards, and I am sorry, and we will do better. Superintendent promised a series of steps to rectify things, including increased training for teachers and other staff members, the creation of a community-based equity committee, and also an attempt to hire a more diverse staff of teachers and administrators. Presently, 22% of the students at Chaska are people of color, but just over 1% of teachers are people of color. All right, thank you, Boyd.